On August 31st of 2023, Noah Lyles again won the 200 meter dash in Zurich, Switzerland to once again showcase his unmatched dominance in this event. With a finishing time of 19.80 seconds into a headwind of negative 0.5 meters per second, Lyles took down his competition quite easily to successfully continue his winning streak that now goes all the way back to the later stages of 2021. For two straight years now, Lyles has been on another level of half lap greatness, but the athlete that finished less than a tenth of a second behind him was none other than Arion Knighton, the 19-year-old athlete who is only continuing his march into history. Now, the 200-meter dash is certainly the primary race where Knighton has found success in his career, and we've mentioned this many times in the past on this channel, but he is without question the greatest 200 sprinter in junior history, and it's honestly not even close. At this point in his career, Knighton now owns all of the top 13 times ever run in the junior rankings, and out of the top 16, he has the 15 fastest times in 200 history. The only athlete that even has a presence in these top performances is a guy by the name of Usain Bolt, a man that found a little success in the sprinting world. Since 2021, Knighton has been consistently running with the absolute greatest sprinters on the planet, and he's even managed to run within two one hundredths of Noah Lyles back in the 2022 season. However, what he just did this year in the World Championships might make him an even greater competitor moving into next year's Olympic cycle cycle, because believe it or not, we've actually seen something eerily similar to Arion Knighton, and that man became the greatest sprinter to ever live. In this year's World Championship Finals in the 200, Knighton earned the silver medal against a very strong field. With a time of 19.75, again into a slight headwind, he jumped up yet another echelon of greatness on the Global Championship podium. In 2021, he placed fourth at just 17 in the Olympic Games. In 2022, he landed himself in the bronze medal position completing the American sweep at just 18 years of age. And now this season, at 19, he just placed second, only behind the top-tier athlete himself, Noah Lyles. Knighton's consistency and overall improvements on the world stage have been undeniably great, and the fact that he is still running consistently under 19.9 is just otherworldly. But the reason that many people are looking at 2024 as a real big year of improvement for Knighton is because this is exactly what happened to Usain Bolt back in 2007, moving into 2008. Now, if we go back to the 2007 World Championships in Osaka, Japan, we can see a 21-year-old Usain Usain Bolt competing in the 200 meter finals. Now, at the time, this was actually Usain Bolt's primary racing distance, as he almost never competed in the 100 meters at this time. And even though he was in the conversation to win the gold medal here, he was only able to place second, finishing in 19.91 seconds, falling more than a tenth of a second behind Tyson Gay, who actually broke the championship record in this event with a time of 19.76 seconds. This was a very familiar kind of performance for Usain Bolt. He got a rocket start he pushed very hard over the final 100. However, Tyson Gay was just a little bit better on the day, and this victory actually completed Tyson Gay's 100 and 200 meter double at the 2007 World Championships. Now, the reason that we're going back over a decade here is because Usain Bolt at this age had so much in common with Knighton. They both were 200 meter specialists, they both won the silver medal at Worlds, and believe it or not, Bolt also had an absolute stranglehold on the junior record division at the time, with a world junior record at 19.93, and he also had all of the top three fastest times ever run in the junior division back in 2007. In addition to just the times, both athletes stand well over six feet tall, and they also hold striking similarities in the under 20 division. And with all of these similarities in mind, the question must be asked, is Arion Knighton about to enter the next level of sprinting success and follow even closer in the footsteps of Usain Bolt? Well, maybe, but it's still impossible to say right now. All we know is that Knighton has absolutely dominated the 200 meters and the junior division, and even though the future is certainly bright for Knighton, there's actually even more overlap that we still haven't discussed, and that's the fact that both Knighton and Bolt also dominated over the youth division, which is athletes running under 18 years of age. Back in 2003, Bolt ran all three of the fastest youth 200 meter dashes ever at the time, achieving marks of 20.13, 20.25, and also 20.28. And even though these times were considered revolutionary marks back in the early 2000s, Knighton soon made these marks look remarkably casual, as he now holds all seven of the fastest times ever run in the youth division for the 200. And the current youth world record is actually 19.84, a time that qualified this youth 
athlete into the Olympic Games back in 2021. At this point, almost every single checkbox imaginable has been marked by Ariane Knighton in following Usain Bolt's race and greatness. And with 2024 being an Olympic year full of endless possibilities, what are the odds that Knighton breaks through and duplicates what Usain Bolt did in 2008? Honestly, the odds are not great. In 2008, Bolt absolutely shocked the world with two of the most jaw-dropping performances in sprinting history. In the 100 meters, he broke the world record in 9.69 while slapping his chest across the finish line. And then just a few days later in the 200 meters, his greatness struck again with a time of 19.30, a mark that took down Michael Johnson's legendary mark of 19.32 set back in the 1996 Olympic Games. Now, it would be an absolutely legendary achievement if Knighton were to make this massive leap into sprinting history, and perhaps one day he will have the ability to do this. But a 9.69 and a 19.30 are truly some ridiculous performances. At the moment, Knighton holds a 100 meter best of 10.04, and he also holds a 200 meter best of 19.49. Now clearly his skills come to the forefront much more in the 200 meters, but there is yet another eerie similarity to showcase here, and that's the fact that Bolt's personal record back in 2007 was only 10.0 three seconds in the 100 meters, almost the exact same time as Ariane Knighton's PB right now. Now, incredibly, Bolt's first ever 100 meter race is actually on video, and we can see exactly what he did for this performance. Now, for this 100 meter dash, Bolt was competing in a small track meet in Greece, and even though it wasn't quite as fast as his future times would prove to be, we can see limitless potential from this one 100. He definitely got an okay start, and his drive phase was pretty solid for a 100 rookie, but his top speed here was what ultimately gave him the victory, breaking away from every other athlete by around a tenth of a second. Arion Knighton's skill sets almost perfectly match Usain Bolt, at least what he was doing in the junior division. And even down to his championship medal in the 200 this season, he has managed to match the great Jamaican legend. But in many other ways, Knighton has already greatly surpassed Bolt when it comes to his sprinting abilities right now. With a junior 200 time of 19.49, Knighton has already showcased immense half-lap potential. And since that time, he has been on an absolute tear of sub-20 second 200 meter running. Now, with the Diamond League final right around the corner and the Olympic Games now with an eyesight. The world really should be scared of what Ariane Knighton will do in 2024, because he just might be a few months away from yet another huge leap in sprinting success, and if he can make this jump forward, he just might have a shot at a few world records. And now I want to pass this final question off to you. Do you think Ariane Knighton will make another huge step forward moving into 2024? And if he does, what times do you think he will be able to run during this upcoming Olympic cycle? I would love to know your thoughts over both the 100 and the 200 meter predictions, so make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.